Hey y'all, welcome back to I Turtly Love It. This is Susan. In this video, I'm going to work on Roxy's Weekly Challenge 2023. Um, her week one challenge. I did week two first. Um, but I'm going to go back and do week one. Week one is um, it's kind of like a wallet pocket. Like normally you would have had it that way. But if you reverse it and fold it the opposite way, and you you know fold your paper and i'll show you how to do that you have a pocket there a pocket there and then when you um let's find a page here when you uh, glue it in you glue it you know like an l shape i guess and then you'd have another pocket so you would end up with four pockets from one book page and um you know, if you're a junk journaler, you probably have a collection of texts. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm going to show you how to do one. Uh, I made a little prototype. Uh, show you how to do one, and then I'm going to do a little mass making, but I'll speed that part up. Uh, and this is my, my idea journal. Um, so I have, like, all my – I had some Kara Brandon um, – techniques I was trying, my December Ember is all in here, and some of my deal it up challenges are in here as I was trying new things. Um, so since this is new and I've not done this, I'm going to put this one in this journal. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll I'll show you how to make one. Uh, so I'm going to put it on this soy sauce recipe page. Uh, this journal I got off of an Etsy purchase. Um, and uh, so that's, I've loved it. It's been nice. Okay, so we're going to, and this one I folded a little crooked, but you know what? That's part of the beauty of a junk journal. It's not perfect. And I've got to stop trying to make things perfect. I probably should have glued the back side first. Okay. Making this is how I should do it so I can move it around a little bit. I don't want it at the very bottom, I don't think, but probably a little bit of space. Nope, I don't know. Up against the page. So we'll find out. <laughs> All right, and then I'll go to the other side and just real quick, I'll show you. You can, you know, tuck something in there. And then you can tuck something from there. All right, so let's glue the back side. And I just covered this. Uh, well, stick a uh, particular. Uh, pocket with um, just a piece of, uh, it, I came in an Etsy haul, it was a piece of um, a digital print, uh, it was collage and um, I came across it, I don't remember when I got it, um, so I thought well, I'll go ahead and use it. All right, so we'll let that dry, and um, I need to go in and make notes of what that was, how I made them. And uh, all that jazz. Okay, so I have some book pages. I've got my ruler for tearing all my glues. Um, this one's almost out. This glue stick, this Tombow Mono Glue Stick, permanent. <laughs> like, you know, when you use like the Elmer ones, you have a little leeway. You can kind of zhuzh it around if you need to. Is that a word? It is now. Feel free to use it. Use it, use it, use it. <laughs> you can kind of maneuver it around a little bit. Um, this one. Is a lot like art glitter glue where it almost sticks as soon as you put it. So if you use that, be mindful. If you need something like that, I just got that at Hobby Lobby. It was a pack of two. Um, anyways, I like it. Uh, and then I have some digital prints for some themed uh, journals that I'm thinking about. Uh, so some of these are kind of going to go maybe in my pirate themed journal. And then, of course, you can't go wrong with botanicals. So I've got some pinks, some darker pinks, some lighter pinks. 
Um, so we're just going to tear off some pieces. So that goes with the pirate things. Um, that's pretty. And uh, to embellish. Is that the more technical term? Decorate <laughs> my pockets. All right. So we'll make some um, and tear some of those. So I said I would show you how to do one. Uh, okay, I'm going to use the same type of paper I just used. Okay, so step one is you want to fold um, one of your edges. This is going to be inside your pocket. So I guess think about that when you're you know, folding and which what which uh, direction you want your paper to go. If you've got certain print or text on it, I guess that you want to be a certain direction. Like right now, that's right side up, which is what people well people, which is what I would see in my journal, and that's upside down. But that's going to be glued. So, and not that anybody's going to see any of this because I plan to cover it all up. All right, so that's step one, and then you're going to want to glue that. Let me get my little glue page. I'm trying to milk this glue stick for all I can. So you want to glue that. All right. Um, and that's not a glue, good glue stick if you have really delicate paper. Just FYI. I don't know if that's straight. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to take the top and we'll flip it over. And we're going to fold it back. Um, and I guess you can just kind of adjust to your needs. Um, and this also more is just for um, Making it sturdier because you're going to be sliding, uh, you know, it's going to be at the top of the pocket and you don't want it to be just open book page there because uh, it would catch probably when you're trying to put a tag or something in there. Come on. I haven't made my pirate journal yet, but I'm gathering ephemera, making ephemera for it as I'm doing some of these uh, challenges or prompts that other um, YouTubers and Facebooker groups and Instagram challenges. Um, you know, as I do those, if I can make it pirate theme or whatever theme, I've got some other ideas as well. Because, um, you know, you don't want to make all of these the same thing because you're not going to put that many in one journal. You're going to put a few. Okay, so now down here where we had folded at the beginning, we're going to fold it up. And you go as high as you want. And so that's going to be your uh, pocket right there. That's my daughter's name, Meredith. Okay, now let me just make sure that's nice and fold it down. Let's do it at the top. Are we glued? Everything. All right, now we're going to that pocket we folded up. We're going to just glue the little edges here. So I'm using barely art glue because I wanted to try it and also. I ran out of art glitter glue. I think I have a little bit left in the bottle. Uh, but this time of the year, you can't order it because I think it will freeze because it's maybe a little more watery. So they don't ship it during the cold months. So that was a good time to try this. I have this. I got like the bigger package that came with the little bear. Um, it's hiding over here, but it's like that size. You know, the little honey jars. It's one of those full of it. So... I'm set when it comes to my barely art glue. Okay, now let that kind of dry just a little bit. Let's pull that out. Okay, uh, so we're going to, so like I said before, you know, 
you can do it like a wallet. I mean, that's you can do that, and you can actually put that in a pocket like that. You know, you could take it out, open it up. Uh, but we're going to glue this in the page. So we want this to go on outward. All right, come on, Susan. You can do it. All right. Trying to get it nice and straight and aligned as best as I can. You did it. Okay. All right, so now we're going to decorate it. Stop using that word, Susan. All right, so first let's trim off some of this white edges. Get that out of my way. It's another project. Um, so how do you come up with your themes for your journals? Um, like, do you see uh, inspiration? Someone else did it or is it an interest? Like, you know, I would want to do a turtle one one day, um, but I would probably need to gather things and that one I might be a little pickier on. <laughs> um, anyways, my husband's um, college, the mascot was pirates. So, um, so we kind of like some nautical and I grew up near the beach. And uh, so we like nautical themed things and oh, well, why not do something kind of piratey, you know? Okay, so we need to we need to uh, put paper here, 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 and here. So I need four little strips. They don't have to come from the same paper. So um, I kind of like this darker part at the top. So it's a little whirlpool, scary. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is fold this. Step one: fold that, line that up. I'm just trying to get the, I don't mind a little bit of book edge showing, book page edge. Okay. I need a better ruler, this plastic one. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not very heavy too. It's a little bit heavier. All right, now I need to turn it this way. Line it up and then put the ruler kind of where I want it to be torn. Okay. So I'm going to glue that down. Oh, I just stuck my finger in the glue stick. <laughs> I don't normally do all this talking. Usually you just watch. So I'll do this one and then I'll put on some tunes because, You know, you don't want to hear me talk for an hour. Oh, you know, I probably should have inked it. I'm bad about remembering to do that. I'll come back when it dries. See that blue stick? I'm going to tell you. Let me zoom in here. <laughs> that glue stick. Like, once you stick it, I hope that's where you wanted it. All right. Um, so let's put another piece from that paper here on this side. Uh, now that's vertical, so I don't know if I want to, you know, with the ships, I want to put that piece on there, but maybe this piece at the bottom, because I don't think I could get that whole ship in there. If I tear it there, and look, that's like the same size that way, so nice, I only have to do one tear. I also like to get the tear ruler. I have a Creative Memories one somewhere. Somewhere with um, other things I'm missing from my supplies or in storage. Somewhere. <laughs> uh, we moved back to Texas, so uh, because we're renting, we just got a storage unit back where we lived. And so as soon as we get a house, we'll move stuff. It was just easier and cheaper at the time just to leave it there. His parents still live there. 
in that town, so he's supposed to go uh, look at things in there and decide if he should what what few things he can put in his car and bring back or some of the things up in their attic. I know they're ready for us to get that emptied out, and I'm ready to have a house so I can put all my stuff back in there. All right, let's move on, Susan. Let's move on. Okay, how about minute how about some of this like ledger paper that all right let's trim some of this off real quick um gosh it's stuck to my finger get off so that's how i came up with the pirate theme you know, we just have an interest in nautical, plus it's a uh, college mascot for my husband. And, um, but I like different styles. Like, I like shabby chic. Um, like, this is kind of grungy. Like, I don't have this the stuff to be able to do that and it's kind of neat when i can get it digital of someone else's talent uh, and um i don't know if i'd want an entire journal to be grungy but i don't mind pieces in there okay let's move on did they want the word cabin i don't think it would fit looks like it's you know, I'm a little picky too about like wanting to rip that off or, you know, cut off part of it. So how about we get some of this grunginess down here? Okay. Let's get on it. You stand up. All right. How about we tear it first this way? Oh, no, because I don't want to tear that. So I got to tear it this way first. Oh, I'm glad I thought about that. We could have had... Sad moment. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, sorry, boat. Or can I stop right there and not tear the boat? I should call that a ship because that's not a boat. Just get scissors, Susan. Good golly. Sometimes we worry about you. Um, so yesterday was Friday, and on Fridays, my team at school, my grade level, well, no, my team, has uh, car duty. And uh, so yesterday morning, when I went to work, you know, it was like 39, 40, and uh, had my little jacket on, and we had a different schedule, so the kids had a longer uh, specials time. So they didn't get um, like a recess. So I did. I knew we weren't going to be going out for recess. So I just wore my little red jacket, and um, it was sunny. It was beautiful. And then at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm getting ready to do car duty. I get to hold the stop sign, stop the cars. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it was blustery outside. The wind. Uh, you know, my fingers were frozen from holding the stop sign, and my face was frozen. Uh, it had gone up into the 50s, and then a little after lunch, I think it had dropped into the, uh, like, mid-40s. Um, and my little jacket just wasn't enough, and I wasn't the only one out there with just a little jacket. So, <laughs> to my teammates, we survived. Um I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, let's. Hmm. I feel like this top corner, but then I'll turn it around. How about that? Oh my gosh, if you're still listening, geez, I appreciate you and your time. Like, I don't feel like that's lined up. Like, I should be tearing on a line. Just tear on the red line, see what happens. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're going to tear. And this is all I'm going to do to it. When I actually put these in it at all, I'll add more stuff like labels and numbers. And OK, which way do we want it? Down? Or I mean, like I'm talking about the little corner down or up. Um, it's going to be like this. So don't compare it to that. Uh, I kind of like that. I feel like that kind of bled into that. What you think? Well, y'all weren't loud enough, so I don't know what you're shouting at me, but I had a vibe to do this way, so. All right. Oh, my gosh. Sticky stuff. Can y'all see that? I don't know. I zoomed in, and then I'm trying. Oh, my gosh. Tombow, don't you stick right there. Ah. Okay, let's stop curling up. That would be handy. Okay, so I don't know if you wanted it that way or not, but that's the way the vibe felt. Okay, there we go. So when you glue it in, you've got one, and you reinforce that pocket by folding over, and then you got two in the back because you're not going to glue it flat. And you reinforce the top and then when you turn the page same thing one two so you get four pockets out of one book page all right guys i'm gonna make some more i'm gonna put it on super fast all right here we go sit back relax enjoy some tunes and let's get cracked <music>
right, everyone. Well, I stopped at three because my camera said it didn't want to work anymore. So, um, <laughs> but I think these turned out great. I think one thing to consider too, if you need a bigger pocket, is to get bigger pages. Um, these were bigger than these, obviously, but these are great for those little, um, you know, smaller pages that you might have in your journal. Like this one has um, some maps where, come on, so like a little page like that, you know, these would work great on a page that size. So uh, thanks for stopping by and watching me make my four pockets in one book page or from one book page um, project. And um, I enjoyed it and I like these. I'm going to finish up the ones I have here. Well, I don't know. I may set them to the side and wait till I need them and decorate it as needed. So um, that's a great idea too. just make some of these uh, bases and then they're ready to go when you need them. All right, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your time. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to those who have. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, come back for more. Until next time, bye-bye.